up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Rent Race Cheese. If you haven't already, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. But yeah, I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the video. So today we are going to be talking about the, the Winchester XPR 350 Legend. I have this gun in matte black with a uh, a rust preventing finish. I'm shooting the Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain with a Leopold 350 Legend scope. So let's just go over the gun real quick uh, from, from the barrel. Barrel has no muzzle brake, no anything on it. It's just a straight up uh, barrel straight. I think the spin is like 16 to 1. But it's a, li a lighter gun. I think it's like 6 pounds in, that, in the 6 pound range. But it has a smooth action. I mean, it's. You gotta, you gotta take it to the ring of salt, but it is a uh, cheaper gun, so it's not like the top of the line $1,500 gun. It is like, I think I paid $520 for this gun, but I got it online. It retails around $470, $480, around that, in that area somewhere. And that did not come with the scope of the scope ring, so just the gun itself, uh, three round clip. Or, Magazine, I'm sorry, but yeah. So the stock is a lighter stock, and a, and this is a 350 Legend, which is a straight wall, straight wall cartridge, right? Uh, straight wall cartridge. So yeah, it just I mean, it sounds like what it is. It's straight, and the reason why I bought, I purchased this gun was. Because in Pennsylvania, special regulations areas, you can only shoot a straight wall cartridge. So because it's it's not it's a, not a flat shooting gun at all. It goes like straight, and then it just nose dives when it gets like 300, 400 yards. I think I think at a thousand yards, it's chopping over a thousand inches. So. Yeah, it's not a flashing gun at all, by any means. But that's not why I bought this gun. I bought this gun for uh, shooting 150, 200 yards. I actually was shooting this gun and having pretty good softball or bigger groups at 300 yards with a 9 power scope. But see, on this Leopold scope, I can turn the turrets to make it anywhere from 100, I have zeroed in at 150, 100. I can, that's pretty much just the exact same at 50 yards, but I, I can shoot all up to 350 with, with this scope here, with with a uh, 150 grain bullet. But um, it has like a it, no recoil at all because it's it's just it's like I mean a 3 legend which, which is not very big. Round, but it's just it's not it does not kick. I just say that much right now. And some people, might, some people some people might say, why would you shoot that if you can shoot a 450 push measure? Are you a girl or something? And no, that's not anything what has to do with it. I'm shooting this because I don't need the thing the, the 450 push master this thing. I've tried to deal with it and I'll put the clip at, maybe right now or at the end of the video. I drop the inch tracks. And I was watching a jury outdoors, they say the same thing. They're shooting a 200 some pound buck and, it, it, and they're putting them right to the ground, like not going nowhere. So you definitely don't need it, but you know, it would be nice to have. It's a smaller round bullet, but it gets the job done in that much. Um, oh, the trigger. Okay, so the trigger. It's light, like, it's, a, it's the smoothest trigger and, uh, for this price of a gun, and it's the lightest trigger that, like, that I know of. I mean, 
not the light trigger that I know of, but it's a very light trigger, to put, let's put it that way. But, um, a very light trigger. Next on the list is, um, it's a smooth gun. I mean, it's for a $500 gun. It's not the most smoothest gun I've ever shot, by any means, but I'm hitting groups of, like, this much or smaller at 100 yards, like, I'm touching, touching bullets at 100 yards. So, yeah, I mean, it's a smooth, accurate gun, but it's not the most smooth gun I've ever used. Um, but it's a lot nicer than having a slug gun, which I hate slug guns in, in, the, in the worst way, and a much loader than of one shot, so. And spe Pennsylvania Special Rag, you can only shoot much loaders or uh, slug guns, so. Or, or shotguns until this year, which they immediately go to shoot straight wall cartridges. And that's the exact reason I got this gun. Uh, yeah, bullets are 150 grain, so you can get them up to 180 for like, more deer hunting, and you can get the subsonic up to like 260, but uh, the most common are like 150s, 170, 180 in that range. It's a very light gun, I think it's like a six pound gun, so it's not heavy, but it's not not light, but not. Not uh, too light. It's it's in the middle. But I have a 22 inch barrel along here. <clears throat> Leopold 9 power scope. VX. Uh, it's a VX Freedom, three by nine by forty. And I don't know what to say. Um, overall, like all boards clear. It is a smooth, reliable gun. Like. I think that I would take this gun over any slug gun ever. Like, it's a lot better than having a slug gun, and I'll take it over it a lot of uh, muzzlers too, because you, you can go like this, shoot it, if you're running across the field, shoot it again if you have to, and you don't have to reload it if you spawn the thing or anything. So, uh, yeah, 350 Legend. Here, here it is. Um, go pick one up if you're if you're in the Midwest where you can't shoot uh, where you can't shoot uh, neck cartridge rifles or or average average rifle. Or if you're in a state like Pennsylvania or West Virginia or Maryland where you have to shoot where you have to shoot them. So uh, go pick one up and uh, drop me a uh, subscribe down below. Drop a like in this video and. I might have a 450 Bushmaster CPD Legend uh, review, like a comparison in the future, but uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. See ya!